Good morning. This Sunday, Washington State is under a stay-at-home order to help flatten the curve of the spread of COVID-19. So today, I'm welcoming you to worship from my home as you stay in yours. While gathering together to worship is an important tradition of our faith, we know, we know that worship isn't limited by space or time. My home is just a half a mile from the Puyallup River. It is on fertile valley land. Once it was land that was covered with forest. Another time it had farmland. And now it's a cozy neighborhood of homes and apartments. Where do you live? It's important to remember the history of the land on which we live, the land we work on, the land on which we worship. For thousands of years, First Nations people have walked on this land that I live on. Their relationship with the land is at the center of their lives and of their spirituality. When we gather together, we gather on the traditional territory of Coastal Salish and the Puyallup people. And whenever we gather, we choose to acknowledge their stewardship of this land throughout the ages. As we begin worship this morning, you may want to prepare the space in which you will be worshiping. Perhaps you might want to gather a candle to light. Or make sure that you have some bread or crackers or cookies and some juice or water or another beverage to share in communion later on in the service. Make sure you set this time apart. This is a sacred moment. Try to pause from other activities and enter into a time of worship by centering yourself taking a deep breath, planting your feet on the floor. Try to feel present in the place where you are. Let the worries that cling to you, the anxieties that you're holding on to, fall away for this time. And as always, whenever we gather, may the Lord be with you.